My name is Sharon K. Riffle. I work for American Airlines out of Dallas-Fort Worth. I'm an avionics aviation maintenance technician, AMT. I was an instructor for a lot of years, taught at a college, and um, finally decided that I wanted a different career path. And the idea of working in maintenance is just uh, the practical aspect of it was undeniable because the job opportunity is there, um, the money is there. I still can't hear an airplane fly over without stopping and looking up, so that's kind of like the mark of somebody who's plain crazy. I think, first of all, you need to be realistic about the demands of the job. It's a very rewarding one, and it's one that you should have passion for. You have to have the personality for it and the temperament for it. But, you know, the rewards can be very good. Once you're in the industry and you've got your AMP ticket, all they're going to judge you on is your skills and your work ethic and the type of person you are to work with and the type of technician you are. Right now, I believe the demand is out there and it's increasing because we have a lot of aviation maintenance technicians that are in their 50s, per se, and some are retiring early if they can or they're approaching retirement. It is absolutely critical that today's aviation maintenance technicians get as much training as they can in the avionics discipline. The technology is advancing faster than we can keep pace with it. And there will always be a shortage of manpower and a shortage especially of well-trained avionics technicians. Avionics in this industry is a multi-billion dollar business and it doesn't matter really in what aspect that you utilize it in, in aerospace or aviation, you will come in contact with your, your avionics uh, requirements. Now everything is touch screen, it's all software, computer generated, computer controlled, that sort of thing. I will say that I'm very impressed with the AIM curriculum. I, I've worked for a while with your professional advisory committee and have been able to take a look at the curriculum pretty closely and they're definitely getting some advantages on their preparation and their training that I myself didn't even get when I first went through school. So um, it's nice to see that the, the school's keeping pace with the demands of the industry. It's really up to the student. It's the characteristics of the technician that really will make or break their success. And if they have a drive to achieve and they have ambition and they you know, really put their heart and soul in, in getting it, and they'll get it. It might take a minute, but they'll get it. And I think that this is a, an industry that you know, will definitely be an excellent career path, uh, both men and women in the future.